First of all, Coach, congratulations on being named head football coach of SCHS. Thank you, man. I'm extremely excited. It's a blessing and a privilege, so th thank you very much. How excited are you to be to be the coach, uh, head football coach of Frank County High School? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. You know what I mean? I'm so fired up about it. I've said it, uh, you know, to a lot of people. I know it sounds cliche and cheesy, but this truly is my uh, dream job. You know, just having gone here, played here, coached here, served in this community, you know, for 18 years. Uh, it, it truly is a dream job. So I'm, I'm extremely excited about this opportunity. Yeah, awesome. What's your vision for the football program? Uh, vision, man, for, first and foremost, I just want to have a high character program. Um, it, it's my goal, it's my vision to uh, working with high school age young men is help prepare them for real life. You know, and we want high character guys who do the right thing, you know, who come to school every day, um, who are high character guys in the building, um, who in the weight room work hard. Um, the practice field, work hard, and then on the game field, go and represent our program in, in a high character way and uh, in a competitive way. I mean, we want to build a competitive program. Um, you know, n nobody wins every ball game, you know, but we're working on just being a competitive program uh, that, that, you know, as I tell our guys, you know, we, uh, we be our best, we do our job, and we do it on a consistent basis. So that's kind of the vision for that is just um, making, you know, young men uh, prepared to go out there in the real world and, and, and just you know, representing our school and our football program and our community in a uh, strong, competitive way. What's your expectations for the 2023 football season? You know, I, I think biggest expectations is pretty much just what I said. Um, really embracing that culture, um, you know, uh, having each young man take ownership of um, their role on the team for them to hold themselves accountable, to hold each other accountable and, you know, not, not really focus on the scoreboard or the win-loss column, but just working on working together as a team, uh, forming that brotherhood and, and just going out and wanting to compete with each other on the practice field, wanting to compete with each other in the weight room. Um, so that, that's really my vision right there, just uh, creating that type of culture um, for, for this year moving forward and expectations is for them. I told uh, met, the, met with the guys yesterday and just told them, you know, our standard is gonna be set here. The bar is gonna be here and we're not gonna lower the bar. You know, we want them to rise up to those expectations and those standards. Where are you in the process of fill, filling out your coaching staff? Well, that's uh, w working on that, you know, with, without a doubt. So uh, the past two days have been a, uh, a, a whirlwind, you know, in a good way and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to, you know, figure some things out here and there, but uh, we, we are, you know, um, uh, want to get first and foremost, just high character guys, you know, and, and the ones that fit, you, you know, the ones that fit here uh, with, you know, kind of my vision for the program and things like that. So we're working hard on getting that field right now. What are your plans on the offensive and defensive side of the ball? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big personnel guy. We're going to run what our guys can effectively run. You know, uh, me personally, just X and O standpoints, I like to be multiple on both sides of the ball. You know, we want to uh, defensively, um, we, we want to be an aggressive defense, but also a, a smart defense, you know, so we want to do that. Um, you know, I feel like you got to be able to run multiple packages to adjust to teams, you know, because you have some teams that run spread, you might have more that are uh, you know, more heavy personnel and things like that. So we want to be able to adjust to that. Same thing on offense. You know, we want to be able to run first and foremost what our guys can run um, and, and find opportunities to, um, you know, control the football, control the clock, but also be able to make big plays. So that's kind of, you know, where, where, where what I'm feeling with that. Kind of a go-to question we got here right. is, uh, so after a big game, after a big win, What's your favorite post-game meal? Oh, dude, got, got to be the Waffle House. Oh, Waffle yeah. House, you know, uh, that, that's always been a big staple uh, of mine, you know, so I love Waffle House and I love the All-Star Special, so I, I do that. So that's definitely mine and my family's go-to meal uh, is good old Waffle House. Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Well, Coach, <laughs> thanks for your time, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. God bless, and go Lions.